This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck as a 2001 Ford F-350 Super Cab. It's a four-door extra cab. Ford calls it a Super Cab. Um, 7.3 liter turbo diesel, four-wheel drive. It's an XLT, which means it's cloth. Uh, we purchased directly from an insurance company in Seattle, Washington. Um, when we buy them up there as theft recoveries, because they're leaving the state, they give us a bill of sale, and then we have to file for a bonded title um, and that title will always be a salvage title. It doesn't matter if this thing was a 10-mile Lamborghini. The only way it could have been a clear title is if we would have personally gone up to Seattle, met it there, gone to motor vehicles with their bill of sale, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's in Tucson now, and it's a salvage title because of that. It's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, 50 states, 50 different ways to do things. That's government at work. Anyway, uh, this truck is really good running. Um, it's got uh, the two-tone at the bottom is uh, sort of like a textured paint. I don't know if it would be like a considered like a uh, spray and bed liner paint or what, but uh, it actually looks pretty good and it looks pretty durable too. Um, the truck is in really good shape. Really, a couple dings and dents here and there. I'm gonna walk around. I'm gonna show you what's going on here. The passenger front tire looks to be probably at least 50%. Got a couple people here already trying to buy this thing. Um, we have to wait about 45 days from the day we make this video, actually, to uh, to when we can actually sell it. But uh, it came back from detail, and there's no issues with it, so we take the video and, and do the pictures uh, well in advance of getting the title. So the day we get the title, we're ready to go. So that's what's happening. This is like, these are chrome uh, deals and they paint it over that so there's a little spot there that could be blacked out a little bit more. Someone thought that was a good idea to put those aftermarket cheesy things on there. If I were the next owner, I would take those off. See, it's kind of, it's kind of like a texture paint. I wouldn't, I don't think it's a bed liner spray. I think it's just it's got some sort of texture to it. All the tires seem to be about 50% tread. A couple, it's got some uh, toolboxes in the bed. A couple of them. The rear tailgate. A couple little things here. It's missing the uh, emblem here. Looks like at some point somebody had a uh, fifth wheel hitch in here. Do have a spare and it's brand new tire. Do a plug right here. Looks like somebody touched up a scratch right there. Obviously, people who are buying this truck are buying it because it's got the 7.3 and uh, 190 whatever thousand miles on this truck is nothing for a 7.3. So. Peeling spots where they their little aftermarket job has gone bad. Thing here. Toolbox on this side. This one is the same thing. It's just a little bit bigger. All right. Let's see. Some keys here. 198,560 miles. Wait to start. Wait to start. There you go. There it is. There's the Washington State assigned bin. We did have the police here inspect it already to make sure everything's fine and there's no theft history left on it. They've already done that inspection for us. There's a Ford stamp there. Ford stamp here. Stamp where they belong. Stamp where it belongs. There's the Ford stamp there. There's the Ford stamp there. Everything is where it belongs. 
Ooh, that's good. We also have tools. Spare tools, which is not a sure thing with theft recoveries. Usually they steal them, so it's nice to see those. The interior of this truck is exceptional, given the year and the uh, mileage. Way above average. In fact, I would say that not many people ever saw the back seat of this thing. If anybody. Here's your passenger front window up and down. Door locks. Tiny thing there. This truck is not going to be around long, just because of what it is. So, if you're into this thing, please make sure you get your deposit in, or you're going to be disappointed. That's out, that's in, up, down, other side, out, in, up, down. Yeah, I, I've seen this truck many times, and extra cab 7.3s that are straight are about as rare as they get. feels good. There's a little bit of a breakdown in the foam underneath the seat from right about here to here, but I wouldn't worry about it. It feels pretty good. Pretty firm still compared to most trucks. Alright. Get in here and get a seat belt on. Alrighty then. Overdrive off and on. You got a radio with all kinds of stuff going on here, and this is not my field of expertise. I don't even know what to do. Eh, whatever. That's that's for you guys to figure out. Right. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't sell radio. They sell trucks. Air is blowing ice cold. It works on all the settings. Cup holder. All right, let me put it into drive and get a little distance between us and the truck behind us so I don't slam into it. All right, put it in neutral. Let's go to four high. There's four high, put it in drive. It's a very smooth floor shifter. Usually there's a little more resistance than that. And this is reverse in four high. Perfect, all right. Neutral, let's go all the way back to, now we're in four low, drive. That's definitely granny gear for low. Put it in reverse. Yeah, that's beast mode for low. All right, we put it back into two wheel drive. Well, that's simple. And let's go for a ride. All right, because this thing's on a salvage title, if you want to come to Tucson and drive it home, uh, you're going to need to have us inspect it for you. We charge $200, we take it down to the police. Basically, it's us getting up at 6 in the morning, having it down there to be first in line about 7.30, and then we're required to stay with it all day if necessary. They don't let us drop them off anymore. That's why we charge $200. 50 goes to the state for the inspection itself, but 150 goes to us to cover the cost of our guy sitting there staring at it on the curb for 10 hours. Um, sometimes he's done in 15 minutes. Uh, sometimes it's 10 hours, depending on what kind of police action they have that day. Um, let's see. So it's $200 to restore the title. There's a $250 dock fee, and there's taxes. Taxes are 2% city sales tax here in Tucson. Shut up here. Uh, 2% city sales tax here in Tucson, plus whatever your state tax rate is. So if you come to Tucson from a state with a 3% tax rate, 
you're going to pay 5% tax, $250 dock fee, and 200 to restore the title. If your state tax rate is, say, 7%, you're going to pay 9% taxes, $250 dock fee, and 200 to restore the title. Um, if you're from Alaska, your state tax rate is zero. We have lots of people fly down here from Alaska. Um, you would just pay 2% tax and a $250 dock fee and 200 to restore the title. Um, if you pay by wire and ship, all you're obligated to pay is the agreed upon price. There will be no dock fee, there will be no taxes, and if you don't want us to restore the title, there's no $200 restore fee either. Um, just make sure that you can restore it in your state with the Arizona salvage title, uh, the truck itself, and a bill of sale, because that is all we will ever give you, okay? Uh, make sure you are right about that. If you ship it out without us getting the uh, restored salvage title for you, it's very costly for you to be wrong and not be able to do it in your state, so just please make sure you can do it. All right, um, lastly, let's see, not lastly, but near last, um, deposits, please get your deposit. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name and a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. I'm going to shut up here. Alright, that's enough in the 25 mile an hour zone. Uh, it runs and shifts fine. Um, Let's see, last part of my speech I give at the end is the, this is not a new truck, something is bound to go wrong with it eventually, sooner or later part. I do this on every truck we sell, I'm not singling out this truck, uh, I'm just telling you that if you're trying to buy a vehicle that has no issues, you gotta buy new, not used. And it doesn't matter if it's got a thousand miles on it or 198,000 miles, go buy a new one, all right? If you're able to accept some risk and some responsibility, that uh, you may get a check engine light, you may get an uh, injector at some point, it could be tomorrow or next year, who knows when. Uh, it's way out of warranty. The Ford uh, engineers set a certain number of years and a certain number of miles for the, uh, for the warranty. And after that, they didn't know what was gonna happen. If they don't know what's gonna happen, how the heck do we at Wheel Kinetics? They built it, okay? So if you really think about it, uh, they would be the people you call and complain to. We're telling you everything we know about the vehicle. You're getting a 15 minute video on it. You're getting a bunch of pictures. Uh, you're getting a copy of the title. Uh, everything that we know about this truck, we're telling you, okay? Uh, the internet's a big place. A lot of people see it. If we advertise them correctly, we'll find the right person for the vehicle. Um, that's why we don't BS and tell people what they want to hear and and then you know whatever so what I'm telling you is if you need brand new if you need hand holding uh, you can go buy a new one you can probably buy a new XLT extra cab for 40 45 ish 45,000 somewhere in that area and you'll get your bottled water and your service advisor and your free oil changes and all that good stuff and for three years you'll be worry free you'll probably even get a loaner car. So if you buy this thing, then you're going to get a vehicle that could have a check engine light next week, um, could have a bad injector next week, could have, who knows? It's got 198,000 miles and it's uh, almost old enough to vote. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So if you're one of those crazy eBay people, the 8% of the eBay people that are absolute loons, please stay away from us. Um, if you deal in reality, this is a hell of a truck, in my opinion. Uh, today, it runs great. Um, our mechanics have signed off on it. Uh, but uh, we're not Nostradamus. So please be an informed buyer and uh, don't be a baby, okay? And maybe my brother will put some stuff in here about this. I have no idea how this thing works or what it is. It does say DVD over here. Let's see if I can... I don't know. Anyway, maybe he'll show you some pictures of it open or whatever. Anyway, thank you for your time, and that is it.